Hey guys, welcome back to Learn It Guide Tutorials. Ubuntu has switched to NetPlan for configuring network interfaces from Ubuntu 18. NetPlan is based on YAML based configuration system that makes configuration process very simple. So NetPlan has replaced the old configuration file called interface that would be available under slash etc slash network that we previously used for configuring the network interfaces on Ubuntu. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure IP address on Ubuntu using NetPlan. Related links are mentioned in the description below. Make use of it. Before getting to the topic, just a small request to those who are watching this video from our YouTube channel for the first time. We have uploaded a lot of videos related to Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes and other technologies too. Please have a look. If you are interested in learning, then do subscribe now and click near the bell icon for more interesting and useful videos. Let's get started. These network files will be available under slash etc slash netplan. All these files under this directory should be created in YAML syntax. Still we have interface file under slash etc network but we could see the messages on top of the file like if up down has been replaced by netplan. Okay, let's see how to write this configuration in netplan yaml files. By default, you'll be having a single yaml file, but if you want to have multiple network configuration files, then you can create number of files. So this is how the network configurations looks like. Under the ethernets, you can specify each interface names and the network details. If you want to have dynamic IP, then DHCP4 should be yes. Similarly, if you want static IP address, then we must change this DHCP4 value to no. And manually, you can specify the IP address, subnet, netmask, name servers, and all. If you need any help in using these parameters, and if you don't know what are the parameters it will support, then take a help using man command, man netplan. This manual page has a lot of information about all the options it will support, including examples. You have DHCP4, DHCP6, address, and this is the option we must use to specify our own IP address. And it will support for both DHCP4 and DHCP6 format. And here we have the option for gateway for IPv4 and IPv6. And here the name server, this is the option we have to use if you want to define DNS name servers. And here is an example for name servers. So a lot of options are available that can be used in NetPlan configuration files. So let us configure the IP address manually. Let me open the config file. And, and this is the interface on which I am going to configure the IP S9. So let me change dhc 4 should be set to no, which means we are going to enter the IP address manually. And addresses colon within the square bracket, we can specify the IP address in IPv4 format or IPv6, then gateway 4. So we made a few changes. Let's apply the changes. sudo netplan try. This command will check for syntax errors and will let you know in case of any issues. Else, it will ask you for the confirmation to keep the settings or not. If you want to keep the settings, just enter before the timeout get expires. Else, this change won't be affected. Let me press enter. So got the output configuration accepted. Let's check the IP. So we got the IP address as we have configured in the network YAML file. Let me rechange the IP again to show you the other option of netplan. This time, instead of Two, let me change the IP to 3 and save, exit from this file. Now, instead of netplan try, I am going to use netplan apply. Let me check the IP again. So got the new IP address. So what is the difference between these two netplan try and netplan apply? Both options can be used to make the changes only. Netplan try will help you to check syntax error and will give you some additional options whether you want to proceed or not with the timeout. Netplan apply 
will be used directly to apply the changes. It's up to us. Let me try ping it from the other system over the network where I have a Windows OS. I am able to get the reply from the Linux system. So that's it. Hope you've got an idea how to configure IP address in Ubuntu using NetPlan. See you in the next video. Till then, keep practicing and have fun. How did you feel? Is it helpful? Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below. Hit like button, share with your friends about us, subscribe our channel to get further updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.